Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, coming to you with a tools that don't suck video. So today what we're doing is uh, the Eastwood Contour SCT tool. Uh, this is a stripping tool that you see us use quite often in the videos, and pretty much every time we use it, we always get questions of what was that sander that you guys were using? And uh, we usually drop a link in, but I figured it was good to do a video where we actually talk about this tool. I could tell you some of the reasons that I like it and how it could be helpful to you guys. So. The Contour SCT is an inline drum sander. So this tool takes uh, a drum that they, they come in a bunch of different grits and configurations. So what I have on here is the abrasive drum that's for stripping uh, multiple layers of paint, rust, body filler. You can actually dig body filler out with this. And this is a really tough drum. Uh, you probably saw in the video when we were stripping the turtle deck to uh, see what the damage was underneath. Andrew was using this to dig it out. Nice thing is that the tool is uh, it has a gearbox in it, so it's gear driven. It's not like a belt drive. So because it's gear driven, you can really hammer down on it and put some weight into it to actually dig out old paint and body filler. And it's a lot quicker than trying to use like a grinder or a sander with an orbital disc. With this, you're able to push down and you can take out wide bands of material uh, really quickly. What you can do uh, after stripping is you can switch this drum out. There's a bunch of different drums that are available. The tool comes with a finishing drum that is basically like a Scotch-Brite type material um, or scuff pad that you would use. That is uh, what that one is. That's really good for conditioning metal. So you may see in some of the videos, we take a piece of sheet metal that I have laying around and just from it sitting around in the shop, it gets some flash rust on it. So what we'll do is we'll take the tool, We'll, we will strip off uh, the surface rust. It's gonna give us nice, clean, fresh metal that we can work with, and you're not running a part that has rust in it through your English wheel, through your bead roller, or any other tools. It's gonna keep everything clean and keep the rust off of those things. Uh, the other drums that, that are available go all the way from uh, like a flap disc, scotch Bright type mix, all the way up to a sandy drum, so when we were doing the frame on the Sweetheart Roadster, after we did all the welding and repair work, we took the uh, expander wheel with a sanding drum on it, or a sanding band on it, we were able to go over it and kind of just knock down all the welds and just give it a nice, fresh, uh, even, consistent finish, and then we came back with some of the other drums to just uh, smooth it out and make it uh, take away the sanding scratches. So that one works really great for that. Uh, and those are kind of the ones that I use the most. They're the the mix uh, drums are really nice for kind of all around use where you're stripping some paint, stripping some rust. You can use them really well because the uh, because of the design of the tool, it's in line, so you can actually keep it controlled really nicely. So it's not going to get out of control and and sand or damage an area that you don't want. And you're also able to get really tight into areas with this. You can even get into reverse curve areas where Either, even with an orbital sander, you may dig holes or gouge the metal up. With this, because of the design of the tool, you can actually get in there and sand it, and it's, it's really nice. Right, Moon? So uh, that's the uh, Eastwood Contour SCT. It is a tool that is heavily used here. We beat the crap out of this thing, and it keeps going. Never gives us a problem. And uh, the tool is something that, if you're doing a lot of restoration work or repair work, it's something that you will use all the way from the first day you get the car and you strip the paint, all the way till you're doing your final uh, metal work and you want to just give the whole entire car a nice even finish, you can use this tool. So it's really, really handy. So that's all I have for this one. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Eastwood Contour SCT, you can click the link down below. We have a link in there. You can go to the Eastwood site and you can see a ton more information. There's actually some diagrams and everything. You can see the guts blown apart and you guys can learn more, see all the consumables and uh, hopefully this little bit of information has helped you guys maybe with a tool that will help you in the future. As always, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thanks guys, catch you later.